we've got a good one on Thursday Night Football. The Eagles and the New York Giants. Big rivalry in the NFC East. Okay, maybe not a great one here on Thursday Night Football. Okay, but Philly is favored by four and a half points. The over-under here is at 44. Now, Philadelphia last week, they almost beat Baltimore, man. I mean, they were losing big. They had a ton of injuries. They were losing 24 to 6, and then they lost Zach Ertz, and they lost Miles Sanders, and they almost tied the game there at the end. So you got to tip your cap there to Carson Wentz, who did a really, really nice job. But playing on a short week with all this, these injuries, Sanders is out, Zach Ertz is out, Dallas Goddard's already on IR. I mean, they have just a ton of injuries. Facing off against the Giants, and the Giants, they beat the Washington Redskins for their first one of the season. And New York usually covers on the road. They're 3-0 and against the spread on the road this year. And they've covered four of the last six games against Philadelphia. Now, they've lost seven straight against the Eagles by an average of eight and a half points. But like I said, they covered four out of the last six against the Eagles, okay? So this is a really, really interesting one, kind of a tough one. I don't like New York's offense in this game. Darius Slayton is banged up. We already know Barkley and Shepard are on uh, IR. They average less than 17 points a game, and Philly sacks the quarterback. Now, the Eagles have 21 sacks on the year. That is the fourth best mark in the NFL. The Giants have already given up 17, which is the 25th best mark, or the eighth worst. Okay, so Daniel Jones, man, he has not played well. He's He's throwing interceptions. He fumbles the ball. So I don't see the Giants doing too well offensively on the road in Philly against a defense who's number eight in yards per play given up. Okay, And I also think the Giants could do well here on, on, on defense. Like I said, they, they've covered the games on the road this year, and they've played well defensively. They only gave up 17 points to the Rams, 17-9 loss. They went to Chicago. Chicago has one loss in the year. They gave up only 17 points. So they've been, you know, they, they've been doing okay there on the road. So this is this is a divisional matchup. I mean, it's just, you know, it's it, kind of hard to predict. Philly is the favorite by four and a half points. I'm staying away from that one. But the over-under is 44. And games have been high scoring this year. But I just, man, with all of, with all of the injuries here happening this ball game. I'm going to go with the under, right? A couple of weeks ago, we went with the under, uh, Chicago and Tampa, and we won that one. And we also went with the Bears plus five and a half, and the Bears ended up winning that ball game. So my pick for this ball game is the under 44 points. Too, too many injuries, man. And the, like I said, the matchup in the trenches for New York, I just, I, I'm not liking it. So I don't, I don't see the, the Giants scoring too many points in this ball game. And Philly, man, without Ertz, without Goddard, without Miles Sanders. I mean, there's just Jalen Rieger. There's just too many injuries. Okay, so we shall see what happens Thursday night football. It might be a good one. I'm telling you, man, if the Giants win this game. The Giants win this game, they're in first place. Is that it? If the Giants win this game, they are in first place in the NFC least. Absolutely surreal. All right, guys. Talk soon for everything regarding the world of betting. You can go to oddshark.com. Bye-bye.